special occasions like Valentine's coming up. 1-800-Flowers. Best bouquets around. 18 red roses. $29.99 or upgraded. 24 roses. 10 bucks more. 1-800-Flowers.com. Enter the code HERD. H-E-R-D. Good to have you in. It is a Tuesday. It is great to be here. I'm seriously. I'm telling you, man, the football season's been amazing. Now we're moving into crazy NBA trade deadline time. It's so good. Sports is so good. College basketball is going to be heating up. I'm watching all sorts of Duke stuff last night. Let me start with a crazy Kyrie Irving story. Uh, Chris Haynes, who I trust, Yahoo Sports, comes on the show. We like Chris Haynes. I trust him. There's a growing belief of uncertainty that Kyrie Irving will re-sign with Boston. It's one of the reasons Anthony Davis doesn't want to be a Celtic, because he doesn't know if Kyrie Irving is going to be a Celtic. All right, time out. Three things about Kyrie Irving. Number one, he's a flake. He left LeBron, and according to sources, wants to get back with him. Oh, boy. And now he wants to leave, arguably, the first or second best coach in the league for guards, Brad Stevens, and a really great roster and a very good GM. Oh, boy. Kyrie Irving's a flake. Number two, and you know this is true, he only played eight games at Duke. He's hurt a lot. He's never played more than 75 games. He didn't finish last year. He gets hurt a lot. Number three, he's already said he's going to retire early. He just signed his second movie deal yesterday. What's that saying? People tell you who they are, believe them. He's already told you. I'm not, he's not doing a Tom Brady. He's not doing a Kobe Bryant. He's not doing a Tim Duncan. He's not taking pay cuts and playing 20 years. He's not into it. Fine. I have no problem with it. He's honest about it. You're not trying to trick anybody. So he's a flake. You can't dispute that. If you leave LeBron and Brad Stevens in the East, a little bit of a flake. Number two is he's hurt a lot. Number three is he's told you, I'm not in this forever. So let's start with that. Here's my thing about Kyrie Irving. You could invite Kyrie Irving to be on your team. You do not count on Kyrie Irving. I'll give you an example. So Sunday, a lot of you are having a Super Bowl party. I am too. And uh, I'll just speak from a guy's perspective. Whenever you have a Super Bowl party, the guy you trust the most, you say, hey, you bring the sandwiches. Because the sandwiches is that you can't have the party without the sandwich. So the guy you trust the most you bring the sandwiches. The guy I trust the second most, I say, you bring all the drinks. Beer, soft drinks, you bring the drinks. The guy I trust a little less, I say, uh, you bring the chips. I mean, got to have sandwiches, got to have sodas. You bring the chips. Kyrie is definitely not the sandwich guy. He's not the soda guy. He's not even the chips guy. Kyrie is the second chips guy. The guy you trust the least, who's funny, makes the party better, but you tell him, why don't you also bring some chips? If he brings them, great, but he may not, and you'll still be okay. You don't build around Kyrie Irving. There are lots of people in every industry, you work with them, I work with them. They're the sandwich people to the party. They're the drink people to the party. He's like the second chip guy. You, you can't ask him in an emergency. You can't trust him. Kyrie's always been a flake, and that's okay. Flakes make the party more fun. Flakes are often very talented. There's nothing wrong with having flakes. I can be flaky. You can probably be flaky. You know, whatever an accountant needs, I'm the opposite of that. I mean, our, our society is filled with actors and singers and entertainers and artists, and they're not accountants. Highs, lows, emotional, that's what makes the world go round. Kyrie is way more artist than accountant. And when I hear these rumors, he wants to get back with LeBron. And Anthony Davis is like, I don't know about Boston. Here's my message to Anthony Davis. You do you, <laughs> okay? But LeBron has bailed and Kyrie's a flake. So Anthony Davis, you do you. You, you don't, you don't, there are three, here's what I know about Kyrie. Flaky gets hurt, and he's not playing the long game. And I've heard four rumors in two years. I heard Kevin Durant and Kyrie to New York. I heard uh, he's signing long-term with Boston. I think he said that. I've heard he's going to the New York Knicks by himself with Jimmy Butler. 
And now I'm hearing uh, LeBron, uh, Anthony Davis, and Kyrie Irving in Los Angeles. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, you, you, you can't fool me once, fool me twice, whatever the saying is. Shame on me, shame on you. I don't know. I can't get him in order. Well, he hasn't left Boston yet. You trust Chris Haynes? I do. I do. I think but, Chris but Haynes. All he's saying is that there's, there's a f- growing feeling. He didn't say he wanted to leave Boston. He hasn't left Boston. Smoke fire. I mean, there was a growing well, suspicion. I mean, is, is KD a flake? KD left. No, KD's not a flake. KD. Well, what if KD leaves Golden State? Well, then he's a flake. <laughs> you don't think, time out. Somebody told me this the other day. They said, uh, Kevin Durant's going to leave Golden State. And I'm like, time out. Don't try to get happier than happy. Golden State is perfect for Durant. First of all, they don't ask him to be the emotional leader. That's Steph. They don't ask him to be the coach. That's Kerr. They don't ask him to be the tough guy. That's Draymond. They don't ask him to guard the best player or the best wing. That's often Clay or Draymond. They just asked him to come hoop and score. Like if Kevin Durant, I defended him leaving uh, Russell Westbrook, uh, the ball hog. Okay, I, I defended him there. If you leave Golden State, you're a flake. Do you defend Kyrie leaving LeBron? Okay, no, but, but there's a big gap between leaving LeBron and then leaving LeBron and Brad Stevens and going back with LeBron. That's flaky. Uh, Again. Sure, but, but he hasn't done that yet. And I, I understand him leaving LeBron. There are a lot of players who don't want to play with LeBron. Silly as it, it, it may, it may be silly, but everybody doesn't have the same motivations. But, but again, but, but yeah, I mean, they've been to the finals three straight times. LeBron was clearly comfortable with Kyrie being the hero in some games and taking shots. Again, I'm not. It, it, it's, it's. There's a huge gap between leaving LeBron for the Celtics, okay, and then leaving the Celtics to go back with LeBron. Well, I mean. It seems a bit silly if he leaves the Celtics and goes back with LeBron. It's like, what was the point of all that? Yeah, now, now you're a flake. You're a flake. But he hasn't done it yet. Uh, it, just, it just seems... He, again, he's not the sandwich guy. He's not the beverage guy. <laughs> he ain't the chips guy. Kyrie's the second chips guy. Car shopping can be confusing. There's a lot of terms. Uh, dealer price, list price, invoice. Here's what's not confusing. New car, used car, doesn't matter. Go to truecar.com. Check out their true price you could save three grand off msrp Uh, by the way who do you like in the super bowl i know it's hard not to like a certain team from massachusetts